Okay, so I promised you to um, on the last video that I would factor this trinomial once again, but that I would show you what happens when we rearrange the middle term. So I'm going to go ahead and trust that you've watched the previous video of the same name. And this time I'm going to put plus 3x here and a minus 10x here. Alright, so now at this point this is a four-term trinomial, excuse me, a four-term polynomial. That's an oxymoron. So four-term polynomial and I'm going to go ahead and group these first two. This is my factor by grouping. So I'm going to pull out a common factor from these first two. That would be an x then I'm left with a uh, 2x and then a plus 3. Let's double. Oops, sorry. Again, I've got to get used to this pen. So there's that. Now let me double check that that works. Does x times 2x give me 2x squared? Yes. Does x times 3 give me 3x? Okay, I'm good to go. So now let's group these. Now notice I'm using circles and not parentheses. If I put a blue parentheses where I put that blue circle, all of a sudden I would have to change that sign, right? Because of the distributive property. So please do not use parentheses, use circles. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to copy this subtraction sign. And now I'm going to pull out my greatest common factor of this out of this group, which would be a 5. So now I'm going to have a 2x, and then I'm just going to copy, and that's going to be a minus 5, right? Excuse me, that's going to be a minus 3. Huh. All right, now let's double check that that really works, right? Does negative 5 times positive 2x give me a negative 10x? Absolutely. Does negative 5 times negative 3 does that give me a negative 15? Absolutely not. So what I see is the issue is when I'm actually working with a minus here, okay, I'm going to, and depending on the sign here, I'm going to have to adjust this one here. I'm going to have to adjust. That's going to be a positive. Now let's double check one more time. Let's double check again. Does negative 5 times 2x, does that give me the ne uh, negative 10x? Absolutely. Does negative 5 times positive 3 give me the negative 15? Now I can say yes, it does. Now, interestingly enough, not interestingly enough, <laughs> this is mandatory. When I look at my two green terms now, I have to see a common factor. This right here has to be the same. So that was my other clue that this sign here and here had to match. They have to match. Okay, that was my other clue. I had to make an adjustment. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's finish it up. The common factor of 2x plus 3 is going to be pulled to the front and what is remaining is the binomial kind of like bicycle, two terms, x minus 5. So there it is. There's the answer. This is my answer, and I can check it by foiling it. I won't take the time to do that. I'll let you have just a really short video this time. Okie doke. Thanks for watching.